Just Chanel here. Good morning, guys. It is day nine of Vlogtober. Welcome back to my channel. So it is 12 p.m., okay? I know I said I had a lash appointment this morning. I did. I woke up around five to uh, check my phone and make sure videos was uploaded at six and all that stuff. Um, and the lash lady texted me and let me know that her daughter was not feeling well and was not going to go to school today. So she needed to reschedule my appointment. <sighs> Sad face a little bit, but I totally understand. Um, and I have faith that, you know, I will get my lashes done in the near future. So I ended up sleeping in and I'm just now waking up for breakfast this morning. I'm going to have Cheerios, which I'm really excited about. Cheerios were on sale this week at Publix. And I haven't had cereal in a long time. I've always really liked Cheerios. Like my cereals, number one is Lucky Charms. I love me some Lucky Charms. Number two, Captain Crunch, okay? And then number three, Cheerios. That's, I like Frosted Flakes sometimes. But y'all know like Lucky Charms, Captain Crunch and Frosted Flakes, they got a lot of sugar. And wow, this text message I just got y'all, I'm floored. My mouth is on, my face is on the floor. Like, I'm about to like, wow, okay. Uh, I wanna see what this text message says though, because I'm just like, my mind, like when the text message popped up, my whole mind is just like, why are you even texting me? But like, you know what? Maybe he has something good to say, maybe. Let's, let's see. <laughs> These are the Cheerios, y'all. Oat Crunch Cinnamon, okay? Let's check this sugar. Ooh, ooh, child. 14 grams of sugar, oh my. And where are the carbs? 40 grams of carbs. Okay, good thing I'm having the uh, zucchini pasta today. So with some almond milk, and I'm pretty sure it's delicious. Let's just taste this dry. Oh, I'm just gonna have this cluster. Mm-hmm. It tastes like Cheerios with honey bunches of oats and a little bit of cinnamon. I wish I had some blueberries for breakfast. I just got off the phone with my good sis Crystal and it was a great combo. We've been like talking every morning, which is so refreshing. Um, I'm really particular about my morning routine and I want to do a morning routine video, by the way, which will probably be like either a bonus video this month or sometime next month. But um, we were having a conversation, I guess to sum it all up, about men being vulnerable and how a lot of men do not know how to be vulnerable because they're raised or there's just something ingrained that says you can't be vulnerable. You know, you have to be hardcore, you have to be an alpha male. And it's just, it really is unfortunate because there's a lot of good men out here that if they were just a little bit vulnerable, you know, they could just have so much more okay so we decided that we'll probably go live again if you caught our tea talk a couple of weeks ago it was a great time um i do have the video on private and i will not be making it public just because we said a lot of personal things and i feel like if you caught it you caught it if you didn't i'm sorry but um i think that we're going to go live and kind of have like a structured video or maybe we'll just do like an actual content video about just life you know dating and red flags and pet peeves and uh choosing your battles and men being just being vulnerable i guess men and women being vulnerable expressing yourself understanding that you have to be human like i think a lot of people forget that regardless of your gender like you are still human so expressing yourself is in a great quality like you should be able to express yourself you should be able to handle your own emotions the only way you can handle someone else's emotions is if you can handle your own and yeah let me know what y'all think about that video idea if y'all would want it in like a live tea talk or would you all prefer a content video it, the content video i think we'd have to edit it a lot and because i'm sure when we start filming it, it'll probably be like an hour video, so we'd have to edit it down. But let me know what y'all think about that idea down in the comments. Um, I'm feeling really good. This tea is excellent. I got this in my Sips By box last month. It's like an energized tea, and I think it's like ginger and peach. It tastes so good. 
It's by David's, Davidson's Organics. So um, I think I may go on their Instagram page and kind of see what other flavored teas they have. But I'm about to start editing. And I am going to watch some TV because last night I did not finish watching 911. I need to watch Chicago Med, SVU. What else? Uh, what's my other show? Oh, The Good Doctor. So, you know, I'm just going to I'm gonna chill. I'm just going to chill and enjoy my alone time today. It's a great day. It, it really is. All right, I am about to start cooking dinner, y'all. I'm just making the zucchini noodles, the zoodles. <laughs> have one more zucchini left. I'm gonna cut up some mushrooms, onion, have some parsley here, and then a couple tomatoes or a few tomatoes. Um, I've made this on my channel before, but here it is again, if you guys wanna see. I'm making a basil pesto shrimp zoodle pasta onions mushrooms tomatoes parsley and rosemary in a pan in a skillet with some olive oil just kind of letting that sweat a bit i'm gonna add in the zucchini noodles so these have hold a lot of water of course which makes it nice because it kind of makes a sauce before you add the basil pesto in delicious we're gonna season all of the veggies before we throw the shrimp in and kind of let everything sweat for just two or three minutes. Alrighty, so before the noodles turn brown, you wanna go ahead and add the shrimp in. I like to do everything in one pot. I did put some butter um, right in the center as well. So we're just going to put the shrimp directly in here. I have some of the pesto already on the shrimp and seasoning, which was like onion and garlic powder sea salt, black pepper, red pepper flakes, real simple. And I flip the shrimp over, this looks so good. I'm so excited. And this is a low calorie meal, which is really nice. Low calorie, low carb, um, decent protein because of the shrimp, depending on how many shrimp you eat. Excellent day. And y'all see how much juice comes off of the shrimp if you just go ahead and marinate it right in the pesto. So that way you really don't have to add more sauce because of all the water that comes off of the zucchini noodles. Mm -mm, good. Burial's over. Mm -hmm. I'm just vlogging. Yeah. And she made me some guacamole. Oh, I'm so full. <clears throat> These are some good chips. If anybody's looking for tortilla chips, mom. Finally opening this package from Wick. And we've got four bottles of wine in here. Thank you to Wick for gifting me with this here because y'all know how much I love wine. And let's see what we got so I can get it open without having to press the one come off. All right. The winemakers. Boom, boom, boom. From Wick. All right. Let's see what we have. Uh, Wick shares. Here we go. Oh. Okay. I will have my... Oh, this is like legit like shares. Like actual shares. Okay. But I will have my <laughs> coupon code if you guys want to try wick out you can get i think it's like 22 dollars off your first order plus a free shipping and it's already really inexpensive like less than the grocery store the kind of wine that i got four bottles perfect to go right here on the bar cart y'all know that a bar cart styling video will be coming soon because i need to stock all of this and style it for the holidays these are the four wines i received from wick super excited so the first is a malbec from argentina we have a summer water rose which i'm really excited to try a chardonnay by pacificana and is that right pacific pacific Anna? yeah okay and then a pinot noir from foley and the beast i love pinot noir it's my favorite wine Yes, two reds, two whites. I'm usually a, I usually only drink reds, but I wanted to get a nice variety. So this will fit perfect in the little spots down there. Super excited about that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna save these, you know, for a nice 
girls content day tea talk it'll be wine talk coming soon check out wick information in the description box so you can get monies off if you love wine like i do don't leave me wow. <laughs> bye, bye. All right, y'all, I'm finishing up some editing here. Um, drinking kombucha. I don't know. I just had a taste for kombucha, actually. I usually never drink it at night. But I'm going to sleep right after I finish. I'm probably just uploading this video, actually. Um, thank you all so much for watching. What is this, day nine? The days are just really going by fast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I will see y'all tomorrow for day 10. For I'm actually going to work tomorrow, so this will be fun.